لقد كفر الذين قالوا إن الله هو المسيح ابن مريم Whosoever says that Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, is God, he's making blasphemy, kufr. God Almighty is saying, وَقَالَ الْمَسِيحُ Remember what Christ said. يَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ لَعْبُدُ اللَّهَ O children of Israel, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, who is my Lord and your Lord, who is my God and your God. إِنَّهُ مَنْ يُشْرِكْ بِاللَّهِ And even who associates anyone, even leave Jesus with Allah, فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةَ Allah will surely forbid paradise for him or her. وَمَأْلِ ظَالِمِينَ مِنْ وَمَأْوَهُ النار And the fire of hell will be the dwelling place. وَمَأْلِ ظَالِمِينَ مِنْ أَنْصَارِ And then on that day, nobody will come to rescue you. Chapter 5, verse number 72. Today the topic is about the deity of Christ or the divinity of Christ. I will not expound the lecture in detail, but I will give the most important aspects of it. You see, this is now has become a drama. Whenever you ask, ask Christians, that where did Jesus say that I am God? Where did he say worship me? So you can see and sense there is a vibration in Christian, dumb. They don't like this question. They don't want to hear this question from any Muslim missionary. Because this question is so important, so potent, so succinct, so basic, so unequivocal, or you can say so tersely spoken, that you get trapped by it and then your faith goes down. Because if the question is very simple, or as the Christian missionary says, if the plain reading of the text makes sense, then seek no other sense. If it makes common sense, then you have don't need to seek any other sense. So the best way to do this job is to ask a simple question. The claimant of whatsoever he or she should provide the exhibits. If you are unable to provide the exhibits, then there is a problem. That is why the reason I read this ayah, because if you see the ayah, Allah is quoting Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, that at his time, he used to say to his people, that, O children of Israel, worship Allah, who is my Lord and your Lord, who is my God and your God. And then Allah further, it's like an addendum, that whosoever will associate anyone with Allah, فَقَدْ حَرَّمَ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ الْجَنَّةِ Then Allah will surely forbid paradise for him or her. وَهُوَ النَّارِ And the fire of hell will be the dwelling place for both, either woman or man. And then nobody will come on that day to rescue you if you die in the state of believing that anyone you can associate with God Almighty is the correct belief. So, <clears throat> if we analyze this verse of Holy Quran and if we put this as a litmus test or an acid test, you will surely see that you will never be able to find the verse tersely spoken by Jesus Christ where he is saying or where he said, I am God, where he said, worship me. You will never find.